चित्र मार जवान ग्रेस चिरा बाकी सिद्धांत सरस्वती ताकू महाराज बहु पाद की जाए अनंत गोति वैष्णव ने की जाए नाम आचार्य श्री हरिदास ताकू की जाए इस काम फाउंड आचार्य श्री बहु पाद की जाए प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण चेतन्य प्रभु नीति आनंद से द्वैत कदा राजी वाचारी गोर भक्त बन की जाए शिष्य राधा कृष्ण गोप को पिना श्याम कुन राधा कुन गिरि को वदान की जाए वृंदावन धाम की जाए मथुरा धाम की जाए नवद्वीप धाम की जाए जगन्नाथपुर धाम की जाए जगन्नाथ स्वामी की जाए गंगा माई की जाए त्रिभुवन माई की जाए तुलसी देवी की जाए भक्त देवी की जाए हरे कृष्ण महामंत्र की जाए सामवेद भक्त बिंद की जाए निताय गोर प्रभानंदे हरि हरि बो ऑल ग्लोरीज टू द असेंबल्ड डिवोटीज हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण ऑल ग्लोरीज टू द असेंबल्ड डिवोटीज हरे कृष्ण All glories to the assembled devotees. Hare, Hare Krishna. All glories, all glories to the lotus feet of Sri Sri Guru and Gauranga Krishna. Hare Krishna. Om Om Vishnu Paraya Krishna Prasthaya Bhuta Mishima Dibhakti Gita Swami Dikina. Namaste Krishna Paraya Prabhu Bhada Sita Kanishti Bhoda Karana Shakti Bhakti Dikina. Narayana Namaskritya Naronche Vandarotamam Devim Saraswati Vyasam Tutojayam Vadirayat नष्ट प्रायद्रेसु निगवत सेवाय भावत उतम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवती नैशी ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय हरे कृष्णा गुड मॉर्निंग दी दोरी से पामुदेशन से ऑल गॉय शिष्य पाव पाए सो दिस मॉर्निंग reading from shrimad bhagavatam canto 1 chapter 11 and that's the lord coming to dwarka or returning to dwarka text 2 sa ushya ka se dhava lo daro daro vi uru kamasya Daraso na so choni ma dadha maya mana kara kanja sampute yatabja kande kala hamsa ut zvana sa ut chakase davalo daro daro juru krama sya daraso na choni ma धामाया <coughs> कंदे हरे कृष्ण मन कर हरे कृष्ण सा 
ಉಚ್ಚಿಕಾಶೆ ನವಲೋ ದರೋ ದರೋ ಅಪ್ಯಾವರು ಕ್ರಮಸ್ಯ ಧರ್ ಶೋಣ ಶೋಣಿ ಮಾಯಾಂಜೆ ಸಂಪುತೆ ಯಥಾಬ್ಜಿ ಕಾಂಡೆ ಕಲಹಂಸ ಉತ್ಸವ ಸೌಚ್ಯಕಾಸೆ ಧವಲೋ ದರೋ ದರು ಅಪ್ಯ ಉರುಕ್ರಮಸ್ಯಾದರ ಸೋನ ಸೋನಿಮ ದಾದಾ ಮಾಯಾ ಮಾನಹ ಕರ ಕಂಜ ಸಂಪುಟೆ ಯಥಾಬ್ಜ ಕಂಡೆ ಕಲಹಂಸ ಉತ್ಸವನ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೌಚ್ಯಕಾಶೆ ಧವಲೋ ದರೋ ದರೋ ಅಪಿ ಉರು ಕ್ರಮಸ್ಯಾದರ ಶೋಣ ಶೋಣಿಮಾ ದಾತ್ಮಯ ಮಾಯಾ ಮನ ಕರಾಕಾಂಜೆ ಸಂಪುತೆ ಯಥಾಚ ಕಂಠೆ ಕಲಾ ಹಂಸ ಸ್ವನ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವರ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ವರ್ಡ್ right so word for word <coughs> excuse me sa dat uchakase became brilliant dhavala udara white and fat bold dhara kanchel api although it is so urukramasya of the great adventure adara so now by the transcendental quality of his lips so nima reddened tad maya mana being sounded kara kanja sampute being caught by the grip of the lotus hand yata as it is abjakande by the stems of lotus flowers kalahansa ducking swan utsvana loudly sounding translation by the divine grace is bhakti vidanta swami shri prabhupada the white and fat bold conch shell being gripped by the hand of lord krishna and sounded by him appeared to be reddened by the touch of his transcendental lips it seemed that a white swan was playing in the stems of red lotus flowers for port by shri prabhupada the redness of the white conch shell due to the lip touch of the lord is a symbol of spiritual significance the lord is all spirit and matter is ignorance of this spiritual existence factually there is nothing like matter in spiritual enlightenment and this spiritual enlightenment takes place at once by the contact of the supreme lord shri krishna the lord is present in every particle of all existence and he can manifest his presence from anything and everything by the spiritual enlightenment of the devotee otherwise he reserves the right of not being exposed to anyone and everyone by ardent love <clears throat> <coughs> and devotional service to the lord or in other words <coughs> by spiritual contact with the lord <coughs> everything becomes spiritually reddened like the conch shell in the grip of the lord and the paramahansa or the supremely intelligent person plays the part of the ducking swan in the water of spiritual bliss eternally decorated by the lotus flower of the lord's feet hari krishna ಓಮ ಗಿನಾತ್ ಮಿರಂದಸ್ಯ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಗಿನ ಶಲಾಕಾಯ ಚಕ್ಷು ಅಮೃತ ಜೈನ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುವೇ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತಾನ್ಯನ್ ಮೋ ಮನೋವಿಸ್ತ ಸ್ಥಾಪಿತ ಜೈನ ಭೂತಲೆ ಸ್ವಯಂ ರೂಪಕದ ಮಾಂ ದಾತಿ ಸ್ವಾಕ ವಂದೇಹಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ಶ್ರೀ ಯುತ ಪದ ಕಮಲ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ವೈಷ್ಣವಂ ಶ್ರೀ ರೂಪ ಸಾಗಜಾತ ಸಾಗನ ರಘುನಾಥ ಪಿತ ಸಜೀವ ಸಾಧ್ವೈತ ಸಾವಧೂತ ಪರಿಜನ ಸಹಿತ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತಾನ್ಯ ದೇವ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಧಾ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪಾದ ಸಾಗನ ಲಲಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಶಾಖಾಂಬಿತ 
हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधु दीना बांधु जगत पते गोपेश गोपी का कांतरार हा कांता नमोस्तुत तप तक कांचन गोरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी विशा बानुसुते देवी परमणि हरि प्रिय वंचकल्पत रूपेश चक्रपा सिंधु ये वचा पतितानम पावने व्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नमः जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवा हरि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नमो ओम विष्णु पराय कृष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमाती भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सरस्वती देवी गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्वेशेष शून्य वारी पाश्चात्यादि शचारिणे नमो महाबल न्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायते कृष्णाया कृष्ण चैतान्य नम निगुराचुषे नम नंदलीलमाय विग्रहाय हिमाच विसुंदराय तस्मी महाप्रेम रास्पदाय चितान्य चंद्राय नमो नमस्ते चितान्य चंद्राय नमो नमस्ते चितान्य चंद्राय नमो नमस्ते चितान्य चंद्राय नमो नमस्ते हरे कृष्ण So the English translation of the text again is the white and fat bowled conch shell being gripped by the hand of Lord Krishna and sounded by him appeared to be reddened by the touch of his transcendental lips it seemed like a white swan was playing in the stems of red lotus flowers so this is another of krishna's activities which are always transcendental everything about the lord is transcendental even when he appears in this material world just like a human being two hands two legs a beautiful very attractive face bluish black color still he is a supreme lord when he is a baby he is still the supreme lord everything is done by his will and when <clears throat> he elects mm, to come to any part of his creation and at the same time remain in the spiritual world that again by his own energies and by his own will the lord is all spiritual bliss in everything that he does and the only way we can connect with him is to learn not only to obey the instructions of a spiritual master but do them from the bottom of our hearts so that we can also develop love of krishna which is which is our constitutional position emotionally constitutional position as far as what we have to do devotion that service to the servants of the supreme lord but our constitution position constitutional position emotionally is to always be in love with the lord and his devotees the lord also loves back and so there's a transcendental exchange and this is what was going on between the lord and those that were in dwarka at the time so he had returned from hastinapur gotten to the gate of dwarka and as it says in the previous text he sounded the skankshell to let the devotees in dwarka realize that he was that close to them they were missing him because he was gone for a while even a little while seems like a lot as lord chaitanya describes in the shishastaka every moment seems like 12 years or more it's funny that there's also another past time of the lord where the devotees are feeling exactly the opposite and that is the gopis when krishna relates to the gopis especially in the rasa dance then time may go a lot of time may pass by but then the devotees feel like only a moment is gone by they feel like they need more time they want more time to spend with krishna and who wouldn't from what we understand even the little that we understand about krishna who wouldn't want to spend all of their time with krishna times spent in love are times that the lover would wish would go on and on and on and on 
And there were times that the gopis requested the Lord to extend the time that he was spending with them because he didn't want to go back in the night, getting to the early morning to their homes after the Rasa dance. So the Lord fulfilled their wish because their wish was to be able to be around the Lord and to serve him more. He fulfilled their wish and had them stay with him the very length of a night of Lord Brahma. So we're talking about 4 billion, 300 million years. The Lord associated with the gopis. This is in Gaga Samhita. And still, the next day, everybody felt like they had just had a night's sleep. That was all. Why? Because Krishna, he says in Bhagavad Gita, time I am. He controls everything. He's a supreme controller. Material as well as spiritual is under his control. Ultimate control is Krishna. Ultimate controller is Krishna. Ishwara Parama Krishna, Satchitananda Vigraha. So, in this situation, he is returning to Dwarka and he blows his conch shell. And as is being described in this text, the conch shell is white in color. Krishna's lips are reddened in color. And so, when he blew the conch shell, as it's been described here, he gripped by the hand, the country gripped by the lotus hand of the Lord, appeared to be reddened by the touch of his transcendental lips. So, and it's poetically described here, nicely described in wonderful words. It seemed like a white swan representing the country was playing in the stems of red lotus flowers. So the red lotus flowers represent Krishna's lips. Mm-hmm. And in the purpose, Sri Prabhupada says that the redness of the white conch shell due to the lip touch of the Lord is a symbol of spiritual significance. The Lord is all spirit. Mm-hmm. And when we are based and steeped in matter, then we ignore or we don't understand the spiritual existence. Janma karma chame divyam, Krishna says, my appearance and my activities are all divine, which means at the spiritual level. Although some of us may serve in the temple by taking a conch shell during Arctic time and blowing it, this is just practice. It's important practice. Because we serve the Lord in many ways, we serve the Lord's devotees in many ways by the mercy and instruction of the spiritual master. So the conch shell blowing of the Lord, one only can imagine how much it stirs, stirs up the heart hmm, to hear the sound of Krishna's conch shell. So Shippa says, It is a fact that there is nothing like matter in spiritual enlightenment. And by the mercy of Guru and Guranga, we would like to talk more about spiritual enlightenment, giving different examples, because Krishna's activities and his connection with his pure devotees are all pervaded by spiritual enlightenment. The devotees are aware who Krishna is, and they relate to him based on what he wants. And this is what we are also learning to do. So, <clears throat> the Lord, Sri Prabhupada says, is present as a super soul in every particle of existence. And he can change one thing to another by his, his will. So, Krishna and his connection with the devotee is all spiritual, especially his pure devotee. Those of us that are not, we are learning how to get to that, that point. And again, we are being led by the representative of Krishna, the Guru. And of course, there are spiritual uh, instruction givers also. Shiksha, Shiksha Gurus. Lord Chaitanya has said that as long as we're preaching from 
Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhavatam, and we're not diluting anything from it or speculating about it, then the deliverer, it doesn't matter what the spiritual level of growth is for the deliverer. If he's delivering exactly what is right, then he's delivering from the top source. Therefore, that delivery is also perfect. And from that and the mercy of, of Guru, that makes it possible for the devotees to share hmm, information about the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Machita Makita Prana, Bodayantas Paraparam, Katayantas Chamamitiam, Tushanticha, Romanticha. The pure devotees of the Lord, they always think about the Lord. Rupa Goswami is telling us to think about the Lord also. So they have discussions about the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Or sometimes there's one person that talks about the Lord, the pastimes of the Lord, and everybody else listens. Just like Sutta Goswami was instructing the sages in Namisharanya about Srimad Bhavatam. So they were listening and imploring him to go into details about it, which he did. So this is all wonderful because the material world gives all types of miseries. But when we connect with the spiritual, anything spiritual, it relieves us of the miseries. And so by staying with things connected with the Supreme Personality of Godhead, activities connected with them, discussions about him, then we also get enlightened. Tisha, um, Duman Tisha, the <clears throat> enlightenment of the pure devotees of the Lord is from discussion. So we always continue with discussions. And I'm actually glad that you know, this is all started by the supposedly uh, a deadly disease. Mm -hmm. And we say supposedly advisedly because of course some people did in fact leave their bodies. But when devotees thought of different ways to connect and speak about the Lord. Now we have um, added to physical presence in the temple, the electronic presence also. That now from any part of the world, the devotees can preach and other devotees can relish Krishna's words and activities described in the scriptures. So in one sense, we're fortunate. In one sense, Krishna and Krishna consciousness can turn anything that's seemingly bad mm, on the face of it into something good as long as the devotees. So this is our part. Our spiritual enlightenment, whatever little that we have, should always make us think, how do we take this situation and turn it to the advantage of devotees by connecting it with an activity involving Sri Krishna? It's not only this situation on Zoom now, but other things to happen. Things will happen in the future. Some of it may be very welcome. Some of it may not be welcome, even from a material standpoint. But for a devotee, we should always look at, all right, so this is what's going on. How can we turn it into an advantage by bringing Krishna into the picture? It's very, very, very important. As long as we do things this way, we will continue to grow despite whatever that happens that material energy throws at us. The demons are always hard at work trying to plan and implement whatever their plans are. And they never give up even if uh, things seem to go against them. They try to regroup and do things. So in the material world, it's like that and it's going to continue. But the devotees always have to turn things into their favor and all we need to do is connect whatever is happening to Krishna consciousness, and it becomes a victory hmm? for the Buddhists. Hare Krishna. So this is wonderful. Now, to come back to this, <clears throat> Sri Prabhupada says, so through the spiritual enlightenment of the devotee, the pure devotee, the Lord can manifest his presence from anything and everything. And that reminds us of the situation with Hiranyakashipu, his son, Pallad, and the Lord coming as a half man, half lion, Nishingadev. After 
Hirani Kashipu found he was unsuccessful in causing Prahlad Maharaj to leave his body. He questioned him, where do you get your power from? And he said, my dear Peter, my dear father, I get it from the same place you get it from. The Supreme Personality of Godhead, Vishnu. Where is the Supreme Personality of Godhead? Where is Vishnu? Prahlad Maharaj, by spiritual enlightenment, answered that he's everywhere. And that is a correct statement because the super soul is everywhere. And so, then Hiranyakashipu said, everywhere, even in this material pillar in front of me, Prahlad Maharaj said, yes. Now, Prahlad Maharaj answered yes because of his spiritual enlightenment. His father, Hiranyakashipu, then proceeded to destroy the pillar, thinking he's going to destroy the Lord. But the Lord appeared in a way that fulfilled and did not go against any boons given to Hiranyakashipu by Lord Brahma. So he came as half man, half lion, Shringadev. And to this day, we can pray to the Lord, Shringadev, for protection. He came, protected Prahlad and annihilated Hiranyakashipu. Prahlad Maharaj offered prayers after that, even requesting that the Lord save the soul of Hiranyakashipu, his father. This is the nature of a devotee. A devotee always wishes other people well. And so all the time when we chant, we are asking for devotional service from the divine couple, Radha Krishna, but we also should bear in mind that all living entities should ultimately go back to the spiritual world. Will that happen? Well, maybe over time, but people are also returning to the material world because of being envious of Krishna. Still, the devotee should always wish well everyone else, not other devotees only, but every soul. Because to go back to the spiritual world, to go back to our original constitutional position is what's going to give us the highest happiness. And that's just the way it is. So we enlighten ourselves spiritually and Krishna also relates to us. The more spiritually enlightened we are, because the more spiritually enlightened we are, we are going to do exactly what he said. Man mana bhava mat bhakto, man mam nam naskuru. We are always to think of a Lord. We are to become the Lord's devotee. We are the Lord's devotee by the mercy of a spiritual master, practicing devotee. Submit it, hopefully and learning how to submit more to the Supreme Personality of Godhead's instructions. So, by doing so, by serving the Supreme Personality of Godhead, we will become happy. In Srimad Bhavatam, Canto 4, Chapter 9, Text 6, there's a section of the purport talking about Dhruva Maharaj. Dhruva Maharaj, although what happened to him was unfortunate by his uh, stepmother, Suruchi, not allowing him to sit on his father's lap. But what happened in the end was the Lord met or appeared to Dhruva Maharaj because Dhruva Maharaj went into the forest, a dangerous situation physically for a five-year-old to do, but he still wanted to find out where the Lord was because his mother, Suniti, had said, that the sages go into the forest to find the Lord. So he went to do the same. He had a material motive to get a planet in the material world, a material planet bigger than even his grandfather, Bhishma. Still, I mean, it got grandfather Brahma, I should say. Hmm? And sorry about that. So he went to the forest for that reason. But Narada Muni appeared to him and turned his mind from material spiritual. And when he followed the guru mm -hmm. 
instructions from the guru, just like we should, then the Lord appeared to him after five months. And Dhruva Maharaj, as he says in the section of the purpose, Shri Prabhupada says, when Dhruva Maharaj found this difference within himself, he could immediately understand that it was because of the causeless mercy of the Lord. Hmm? When the Lord touched Dhruva Maharaj's forehead with his conch shell. Interesting, we're talking about the conch shell in this case too, or Krishna's conch shell. So Lord Vishnu changed or transformed Dhruva Maharaj. And Guru Maharaj offered his obeisances with great respect and reverence and completely understood that the Lord's favor was upon him. So, the internal potency of the Lord caused this change in Guru Maharaj's senses and his mind. So, Sri Prabhupada says, spiritual enlightenment is possible by the mercy of the spiritual energy of the Lord. The chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is first addressed to the spiritual energy of the Lord Hara, Hare, which is Hare Krishna. The spiritual energy acts when a living entity fully surrenders and accepts his position as an eternal servitor. So here's the information that Sri Prabhupada has given us. The spiritual energy of the Lord acts upon us when we fully surrender and accept our position as an eternal servitor. A servant serves a master. A servant is not looking for praise. A servant is looking to get whatever job that the servant is supposed to do done. And that is all. Now, even if the master praises him or her, the servant looks at it as it was my duty to do. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm supposed to be doing and I'm doing it, and the pleasure should come from having done the work and done it to the best of our ability. That is all that is required. And if we do that, then the Lord will, in fact, arrange to keep our lives as he's promised. My devotee will never perish. We keep our lives going, and we will be gradually, it will just like sneak up on us, Gradually, we will feel happy inside our hearts. And a lot of things that happen, hmm? troublesome, so-called, in the material energy, we say so-called because it will not even affect us so much. Yes, these things happen. This is a material world. All kinds of troubles may happen. Hmm? Now, in another part of Shema Bhavatam, text 20 of chapter 11 in Canto 1, Sri Prabhupada was going back to things that happened hundreds of years ago in India. He said even 100 years ago in India, all dramatic performances were centered around the superhuman activities of the Supreme Lord. What is happening in Kali Yiga these days? How many of those activities are going on? Well, from devotees, that can happen the chanting, the kirtan, the activities, the drama. We do it around the pastimes of the, connecting with the pastimes of the Supreme Lord. But most people these days are watching mundane movies. They are hearing mundane music. They are hearing music in the mode of passion and ignorance. And unfortunately, when that is heard over and over and over again, then it rubber stamps passion and ignorant thoughts in the minds of people. And so now, unfortunately, human beings who have the kind of body that's a rare body, because that's the kind of body hmm, that can understand the Supreme Personality of God here. And by the way, out of the 8,400,000 bodies, we know, most of you, not all of you, know that only 400,000, out of the 8,400,000, are human type bodies that can understand the Supreme Personality of God. Now, 400,000 may sound like a lot to some people, but compared to 8,400,000, 400,000 is only four and three quarters percent. 95, over 95 percent of the physical bodies that the soul can inhabit in the material world is the type of body that they cannot relate to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. It cannot. 
over 95 percent so you talk about real imprisonment it is relating to the supreme personality of godhead in service that allows us to leave the material world but if the type of bodies that are available more than 95 percent of them do not allow us to connect with bhakti yoga how much this place is really a prison and how fortunate those who can relate to the Lord with the type of intelligence in this small group of just over 4% of the 100% types of bodies. So even within this 4% human beings, a lot of people in this planet are now not relating to Krishna. Or they have taken to religious activities which only take us to or take those who are doing it to the higher Mm -hmm. a little more comfortable jail cells, which are called the heavenly planets, but never out of the jail. Some people don't even, uh, they're not even aware there's a spiritual world. And if you try to talk to them, they're going to tell you that my religion tells me that I'm going to heaven. Unfortunate situation, because they will find out that there are those who are in the heavenly planets who know that there's Kali Yuga now, on the earth, and life is short, and by the mercy of Srila Prabhupada, the chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, the minimum amount has been brought down, and by coming here to this material world, taking birth, that there's a big chance, as long as you're in the worthy family, to go back, to leave the material world, including the heavenly planets, and go back to the Supreme Personality of God here, so in the spiritual world. They are trying to come. As a matter of fact, this has been described by some of our gurus, including my own Diksha Guru, Bhaktivedanta Maharaj, that there are those in the heavenly planets, heavenly denizens, looking, mm-hmm. looking to take birth on the earth at this time so that they can spend only a measly, in terms of time, 100 years, and they get to go back. They get to go back. So much mercy is built in the process now. So those of us in it are to take advantage of it. So Papa says, once you take advantage of, of bhakti. Mm-hmm. So this part of the purport by Sri Prabhupada in Canto 1, chapter 11, text, the chapter we're in now, but text 20. Mm-hmm. The common people would be entertained by the performance of dramas and yatra parties played wonderfully on the superhuman activities of the Lord, the Lord's pastimes. And that's even the, <coughs> and that's even the illiterate agriculturists hmm, would be a participant in the knowledge of Vedic literature. So dramatic performances were centered around Krishna's pastimes, the superhuman activities, as best as they could, this was being done. And people then would know because, you know, if you connect with or watch a dramatic performance, it has an impact on you and it's easy to learn that way. So Sri Papa says players in drama, dancers, singers, and speakers hmm, are required for the spiritual enlightenment of the common man. We are also doing what Sri Prabhupada has asked us to do, that is distribute his books so that those who can read can also get this transcendental information. Mm -hmm. So even at the present moment, Sri Prabhupada says, those who are guides in the pilgrimage sites of India, if you ask them, mm -hmm, they will submit a complete account of the genealogical tables before somebody that's new to the place and wants to know. So this attracts more people hmm, to receive such information. So unfortunately now people are just looking at the situation of um, money, hmm, just going after money because everything now is you get to enjoy your senses the more money you have. And people are ignoring what really should take them out 
of the material world, and that is performing bhakti. So those of us that are fortunate to be in that situation, this is a plea to all of us that every day as we pray that Krishna take control of our lives on a daily basis, every day we pray like that, then we also should pray that we, we be used to help other people who don't know much about bhakti, one way or the other, to take to that process. Even if it means that a person is not ready to hear about Krishna, but would take a snack, which is offered, hmm, and it's prasadam, then they may not know, but that will act to start their quest back to Godhead, the royal path of devotion. Now, as to when that happens, that depends on the Lord. But we do our part to give. So that's why food for life is so important. But we don't have to be in a big arranged food for life situation. That can happen during Ratiatra, especially. We go out to go Jagannath, Baudev, Subhadra, and at that time we also supply free, we say free food stuffs, but a lot of people who take it, they can also start their Krishna consciousness later based on Krishna's time. Mm, Krishna is time, therefore, the arrangement will be made later. But we start, it's like we, lit, we will light the fuse and the spiritual mom will come later according to how you know, Krishna arranges things. So, Bhavatam, Canto 2, Chapter 3, Text 19, a purport by Sri Prabhupada. Talking about the situation now, and the reason why we should take things so seriously in bhakti to help mankind at this point. So, Sri Papa says, Sri Bhavatam's categorization of the common man without any spiritual enlightenment. Sri Bhavatam has categorized those without spiritual enlightenment, even though they are in human bodies, into the society as far as mentally, how they think, the societies of dogs, hogs, camels, and asses. And she Papa says, it's not an exaggeration. Shri Prabhupada quotes that a lot scan to 10, chapter 84, text 13. Yashatma Buddhi Kunapetri Datuke. A person that thinks that this body hmm, with copper vita vayu, mucus, bile, and air is actually them. Hmm, we're not the bodies, but those who think so, they think their family is an extension of them, and then that their country is worshipable, rather than the deity being worshipable. The country is worshipful. And those who go to at least know about the theaters, they go there, but they go as tourists and they don't really go to find those who know about the theater and can describe the history of it from a spiritual standpoint. Those people are no better. So Eva Gokara, so that person, he, Eva, certainly, go cow or kara, a donkey. They know better than that. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of that is in the society. What should we do? We should try very much with the enlightenment that we have mm -hmm. to help those who are in that situation, in the unfortunate situation. So, little by little, from our help, they will also connect those who are ready Mm -hmm. This past Thursday, there was um, a function in the area that I'm at in Pennsylvania called Jubilee Day. Thursday morning, from 9 o'clock in the morning to 9 o'clock at night, all kinds of people set up stalls. And the Woodies from the Harrisburg Temple also went. We set up one for Shri Prabhupada's books. And of course, there are people who came moving from one tent to another, one canopy to another to find out whatever the people were selling at the time or trying to get across. So we went there and it was very interesting. I never considered myself a book distributor, but somehow I found out all you have to do is smile towards the person and maintain eye contact and greet them. 
Mm -hmm. And then, um, well, you see here, we do books. And sometimes they would talk about themselves. In um, Some people do yoga, but the yoga they know is Hatha yoga. Mm -hmm. And so we'll start there with what they know. And then we tell them that the highest yoga actually is Bhakti. And that is a connection to God. There's higher. So they find, oh, there are different levels of yoga. Yes, we tell them. And the highest one is Bhakti. And then we just talk about that is the perfect yoga to connect with God. Mm -hmm. And his name is Krishna. And if you like meditation, some people meditate with different mantras. Mm -hmm. And then we just tell them that the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is the topmost. Then we have flyers there that show Hare Krishna, and then we just point to them. And then we ask them, if we were ready to do this, sure, we give them beads and immediately show them how to chant like that. And so from that standpoint, from that point, then there's some. And it's amazing how persons who hear open up and then finally take a book, The Path of Perfection. Perfect questions, perfect answers, a lot of the small books, and then the science of self-realization. And then the more interested they have, go to the Bhagavad Gita. And they ask how much you said, well, we don't ask for money, but you know, we don't ask to sell, but we print the books there for some donations. It would be nice if you can give donation. And sometimes when they appreciate it, they give well beyond what we even expect. That Thursday, a small book, a couple of books, hmm? a man and his, uh, his wife, they give $20 like that. Mm -hmm. Hardly does anybody give a single dollar. Many, many of them give $5 and up. And so we spread the word like that. And it's a very simple thing. We just simply smile and greet them and talk about what you're doing. And then they listen. Yes, they listen to be nice sometimes. But since the information is transcendental and the Lord is in the heart of the person that's listening, so those of us that say we're not even people who know sales, still we can come across and give books so easily. And if the person doesn't have any money, then we say, okay, you can have the book. But there's one condition. They go, what? You have to read it. Can you promise me you're going to read it? They say, yes, of course. Some of them. You can have the small book. This time for no contribution or for no donation. And that way you just connect with people mm, to turn this society as bath, drum, text, dogs, hogs, camels, and asses in mentality to real human beings, because they do have the intelligence to understand the Supreme Personality of Godhead if we give them the opportunity to do so. So those in Dwarka, they were connecting with the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna, and they were connecting in faith and in love. And they were missing him when he was gone. And when he came back and he blew his conch shell, even the blowing of his conch shell is a spiritual activity. Everything the Lord does is spiritual. And so those in Dwarka were benefiting from it. And now the Lord has opened the chance for us to also be connected with him in bhakti. Excuse me. We can connect with the Supreme Personality of Godhead mm, through devotional service. Now, a few things that we need to be aware of so that we do not mm, fall off the path. That's been described in Canto 5, Chapter 5, Text 10 to 13. Maharaj Shabadev is talking to his sons. The first thing he told them, my sons, you should accept a highly elevated Paramahansa, a spiritually advanced spiritual master. And in this way, you should place your faith and love in me, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So that's the first thing he told his sons, and it's in the Bhavatam for our benefit. Accept a highly elevated Paramahansa, a spiritually advanced spiritual master. And Lord Chaitanya has said hmm, in Majalila, in Chaitanya Charitamrita, I think it's text seven, if I'm not, I think it's text 128, uh, chapter seven, text 128. And he says that you have to talk about Bhavatam and Bhavad Gita for everybody that you meet. Hmm? 
speak. And in fact, he has said that if you do that, hmm, follow the orders of Sri Krishna given in the Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhavatam. Tare Tako Tare Kaha Krishna Upadesh Amara Agyaya Guru Hara Tara Edesh. Instruct everyone to follow the orders of Sri Krishna as they are given in Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhavatam. Instruct everyone. So we have to find ways to get this across to them. In this way, you become a diksha. I mean, a shiksha guru, a spiritual master, instructing and liberating everyone in this land. So following the orders of Krishna, instruct people to follow the orders of Krishna as given in Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhavatam. Mm -hmm. In that way, we become a source by which people can be liberated. This is on us as devotees. Mm -hmm. It's in the, uh, the Chitani Chaitamita, Majalila, chapter 7, text 128. So it is there, Lord Titania, that is his order, that is his will, and we are to take it very, very seriously. And in that way, uh, Lord Titania says, we act as a Shiksha Guru to everyone and liberate everyone in this land. Which means the liberation comes from the instructions, <clears throat> the orders of Lord Krishna in Bhavatam and Srimad <clears throat> Bhagavad Gita. Hare Krishna. So the Lord's activities with his devotees are very wonderful. <clears throat> and when we are liberated, we get to that point of our hearts being open and relating to the Lord. So that's one of the instructions hmm, given by Lord Chaitanya. And Lord Rishabhadev also tells us that we should connect with the spiritual master, take instructions from the spiritual master, and that will help us develop faith increase our faith, and also develop love, ultimately, for the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So we'll stop here. The text, uh, the translation of the text, today's text, uh, 1, Bhavatam 1, 11, and text 2, is the white and fat, bold conch shell being gripped by the hand of Lord Krishna and sounded by him, appeared to be reddened by the touch of his transcendental lips. It seemed like a white swan was playing in the stems of red lotus flowers. Shri Ki Jai. Hare Krishna. The bodies can make comments or ask questions if you want to at this time. Hare Krishna. Does anyone have a question or um, a comment to make? If anybody has any questions, you can just unmute yourself and ask. Um, I think it's one of those classes that we have to meditate on. Mm. Uh, there's not a whole lot of... <laughs> Uh, clarification that is needed. It's it's actually like my Guru Maharaj says, hit the pavement. You know, you you connected it with book distribution, and I also struggle with that. It's it's it doesn't come easily or naturally to me. Yeah. That you know, Guru Maharaj says, hit the pavement. Just get started. Just do it. So it's mm -hmm. it's one of those classes. You know, we've got to do what we have been hearing. Um, so that's it, my it, realization. It's important, yeah. And sometimes my mind says, are you really going to be able to distribute books? But as soon as you get started, it's amazing how many people will actually take it. Mm. Yeah, you're holding it and say, here. Mm. And people are, you know, they just said, here, when you hand the book, now it's in their hand. You make sure you never get it back. And then you start <laughs> talking. You start talking a little bit about it. It's usually the title is a giveaway. And some people want to know the author, and usually the picture of the author is on the side, the, the back of it. Shri Prabhupada, many of his small books, his pictures on the back. Mm -hmm. This elderly gentleman, Shri Prabhupada from India, he wrote this, and they know, okay, all right, so they make that connection, and then you talk about whatever comes to mind in spiritual 
an activity based on the title of the book, Science of Self-Realization. You're going to realize that spirituality is a science. Mm -hmm. It's not really on an emotional platform at all. It really is a science. And you know who you are from it. You are Christian. Sure, there's a connection between Krishna mm, and Christ in it. If you open the pages of where the table of contents are, you will find some things and you just go down the table of contents, mm, the different chapters and the titles of the chapters and just tell you everything and you just repeat it. And the person yes. believes it because they can see it too. Yes. And then you end the book. You say, okay, like that. Yeah. So it's not as hard as we think. Sometimes we face rejection. Somebody doesn't want to deal with it at all. Well, you know, that's that's also there are people like that in the material world who don't want to go back and they think that sense gratification is all they'll get. And that's what they need. They think they need that because they don't know they're suffering. But um, if you can talk about birth, death, old age and disease, old age and disease, they can't usually fight it. Death is, of course, it's a morose situation. They don't know much about birth. But death always makes people sad. Death in your family makes you sad. You suffer because of disease and old age. Well, the person is young. So you say, look around you. See the older people not speak, moving as fast as you can. And everybody gets there at some point. And it's not so wonderful. So that's the way the world is. And this science of self realization will tell you the things um, that the way they are in the material world and how to get out into a better situation. Like that. And I don't awesome. call myself a salesperson still. <laughs> <laughs> Hare Krishna. Mm. Yeah, I guess you can in, preach in so many different ways. We think yeah. of preaching only in one standard way, but um, a lot of times just impromptu just like that a topic mm -hmm. comes up a discussion happens and then i realized that that is also preaching um, yeah yeah anything about christian is preaching preaching mm, if it's correctly mm, we're taking it directly from bhavatam which is my uh, baba gita that's preaching mm -hmm. in the conversational way it even works even better Hare Krishna. any other comments Hare Krishna Maharaj, <laughs> Prabhuji. Yeah, Hare Krishna. Tell me how many senses of God Shri Prabhupada. I just want to say something that I really like the story of Dhruva Maharaj. Yes. He heard it many times, but the Maharaj was so happy that he was able to do this. Yes. He heard it many times, but the more we hear, the more our faith increases, actually. Mm. So, mm. so it was very motivating. To hear Dhruva Maharaj's story. And I know. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that, yeah, it's a wonderful story how Dhruva Maharaj's mind was transformed from material to spiritual. It's our story also. If we come to the material world, I mean, not, not in the same way, but the underlying thing is the same. He had a material motivation. In fact, he was angry when he left. One thing, a material planet for himself, bigger than anybody's planet, more opulent than anybody's planet in the material world. But the two steps that happened to him, first, a spiritual master approaching him, Narada Muni, and now, after he took the instruction of the spiritual master and chanted Unumo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, and he went on and on and on and took the instructions by Narada Muni seriously because he wanted his big planet, bigger than Lord Brahma's planet. If that's what was going to happen, that's what he was going to do. Mm -hmm. And so finally, Lord Vishnu comes and he begins to realize that even the biggest material planet was like going for cut glass when there's real diamonds. The real diamonds is because the consciousness connects with Lord Vishnu. Mm -hmm. So here's our story also. Many of us wanted to uh, make it big in the material world. And then we found out by the mercy of the body that, in fact, preaching, mm -hmm. preach to us, they preach to us. One way or the other, our minds got changed by the Lord's mercy, the Lord in our heart. And now here we are realizing that this is not our home and we have to prepare to go back to Godhead 
And now we're trying to do the best and encourage others to do the same. So here we are. We are actually more fortunate, and not from a material standpoint at all, it's from a spiritual standpoint. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Any other comments? Okay. So if they are not any other, we, uh, thank you very much for allowing me to do this service. And I hope everybody has a good week coming up, spiritual week, and dedicate everything that you do to the Supreme Personality of Godhead in service. That's all. Think about the Lord and never forget the Lord like Rufa Swami says. Vancha kalpa tru bischa kripa sunibe e bacha. So, Prabhu, don't you have, do you have some announcements? Something? No, no, I just wanted to say, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is a little, yeah. Uh, voice? Sorry, my voice is just a little bit um, raspy, a little bit, um, mm -hmm. I apologize. Just thank you so much for that class. I just wanted to say that. Hare Krishna. Jai Guru Dev, Jai Shri Prabhupada. Right. Okay, thank you. So, everybody have a wonderful spiritual day. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you. 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 Thank you.